Welcome to the class on reinforcement learning and artificial neural networks. In this video, I will discuss variations of the SARSA algorithm. The first variation is called expected SARSA. Normally in SARSA, we take an action, we observe the reward, we observe the next state S prime, and then we pick the next action A prime, and then we update with that actual action. And now we do it differently. We say, once I'm in this state, S prime, I know that my policy would allow to pick different actions. And why should I use one for the update? For the update step, I imagine that I give a relative weighting of the different possible next actions according to my policy. So A tilde is a dummy variable of which we sum over and p the policy is a weighting factor and so for the updating i don't use the real policy the real policy is of course in next step i take one specific action but for the update i take the average that's why it's called expected sarsa and here's another variation of sarsa here again, the Bellman equation, and I said already that often the Bellman equation is really used in the narrow sense that I pick the greedy policy. So I take the action that is actually the maximum. Okay, and this we can also exploit in another variation of SARSA. And this variation of SARSA is called Q-learning. The update rule is nearly the same except that now for the update rule, I use the max idea. So the actual policy is of course, I have, to, I have to pick one specific action, but for the update step, I take the max of all possible actions. And that's indicated by this little arc element. So the idea is that if I use for the update of my policy, the max condition, then this should immediately work, uh, converge towards the Bellman equation for the max condition. But then, of course, I don't want to play actually greedy. That's why I use a stochastic policy. And so the update is called off policy. Off policy because for the update, I ignore for the moment the policy, I use the max. The term TD in of policy DT will become clear in the next video. So the new thing is now that, he ha that I have the max operation. And so here are the different versions of SARSA now, each time with a backup diagram. In the normal SARSA, I actually perform the next action and then I update with the Q S prime A prime that I observe uh, that I observe in the next action and that's used to update q of s a in the state in the branch up here now in expected sarsa you look ahead and you average over potential next actions according to your policy and then you use this to update q of s a and in q learning you look ahead and imagine a greedy next action and then you update q of s a but just remember, the actual next action is based on your current policy. And that's why Q-learning is called an off-policy algorithm. 